It is time for a COVID-19 update here from TPM Media for Chambari and Pattaya. Hi everyone, I'm Adam. Let's jump into the news. So today, Chambari announced a record high of 335 new and confirmed COVID-19 cases for the province since the start of this recent outbreak of COVID-19 in early April. This is driven by 233 cases from the new market, which is located in Muang Chambari and has been a major headache for local medical workers. Now, the majority of these are also actually migrant workers who work at the market and not customers who live in dormitories and nearby neighborhoods. The good news is that the Chambury governor has decided to close large sections of this market and essentially lock down the communities that are at risk. This means that the migrants that are in these areas and the Thai residents are actually not allowed to go anywhere except to stay regardless whether or not they're positive for COVID-19 or not. Now, there's also other markets, such as the market in Satahip, that has also been an issue for local health authorities. And the majority of cases overall in Chonburi have been coming from construction sites, migrant worker camps, markets, and factories. Health officials state that this Despite the jump, this was expected as they are actively testing in and around these communities that are at risk. And they're also stating that many people are starting to let their guards down and to ensure that they're not doing so. Now, we also wanted to cover here, kind of informally, the vaccine situation here in Chonburi. TPM Media gets a lot of questions about vaccines, when they're coming, what the situation is, how many people are being vaccinated daily, etc., etc., the truth is, there aren't really many vaccines in Chambury at this exact moment. And the main reason is because the government's supply of vaccines, according to them, have been shipped to Bangkok and to other priority areas, whereas Chambury was not seen as big a priority. But as cases are increasing, this is likely to change. Additionally, those of you who follow our news on a regular basis have probably seen that Chambari and specifically Patia City went ahead and ordered their own vaccines, 100,000 to be exact, from Sinopharm by partnering with a Thai university. These arrived in the country about a day ago and are currently going through quality control checks and processes. Once these processes are complete, the vaccines will be sent to Pattaya, and at that point, Pattaya authorities will distribute them to the local residents. Now, the majority of these vaccines are going to those over 60 with pre-existing health conditions and who have already registered for the vaccines in and around the province. There is not yet in Chonburi an open foreigner registration like there is in, say, Phuket, Soratani, or Chiang Mai. This is because, unfortunately, the lack of supply. Now, Foreigners can register through ThailandInterVac.com, although your mileage may vary based on reports from other residents, if they are over 60 or have certain pre-existing health conditions. But the current hospitals that are available for the vaccinations are all in Bangkok. And although you can register, there's no guarantee exactly when you can get your vaccine yet. The situation is frustrating to many local residents based on the emails that we get every day. The footage that you're watching by the way, is local authorities debating and discussing the Sinopharm vaccine set to arrive in the next few days, as well as some stock footage of the last vaccination effort that went on at the Eastern Sports Stadium. That's all for today. We appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like what we do, please follow, like, subscribe. We'll love you for that. Have a great week ahead.